Hey, what's up soldiers? My name is Greg FPS, the Zombies Extraordinaire, and welcome back to another video here today on the channel. Now today, guys, we're going to be doing a top 10, and these are the top 10 things that Black Ops 4 took from other Call of Duty Zombies games. This is going to include Exo Zombies, Infinite Warfare Zombies, and World War II Zombies. So we're gonna be going through, I tried to order them in a top 10, but keep that kind of loose in your mind because some of them are better than others. And I kind of wanted to like intertwine the different games. So hope you guys understand. And uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get right into the video. Coming in at the number 10 spot is going to be the ability to drop points for your teammates now this comes in the form of an elixir called point drops in black ops 4 zombies and what this does is it allows you to drop points in intervals of 500 every five seconds now this was an idea that was taken from world war ii zombies where you actually had the ability to drop as many points as you wanted whenever but it goes in intervals of 250 points this is a really really good thing if say your teammate has been going down a lot or doesn't have a lot of points and needs to get ready for the boss fight you can loan them some points and they'll be ready to go so this is definitely a really really cool thing and it comes in at the number 10 spot Coming in at the number nine spot is going to be a mule kick and the ability to tell which weapon is actually your mule kick weapon. Now this first came from Infinite Warfare Zombies as mule munchies and this was the mule kick version in Infinite Warfare Zombies. Now when you pulled out your third mule kick weapon, there would be a small icon of mule munchies right next to the ammo count of that gun. Now Treyarch was able to bring that over into Black Ops 4, so whenever you're on your mule kick weapon it will have the black ops one classic logo of mule kick on your screen so you know exactly which weapon you are using and which weapon is your mule kick weapon which i think is a great quality of life feature and i'm really happy that they included this in black ops 4 zombies Coming in at the number eight spot is going to be the ability to get a full reload. Now in Black Ops 4 Zombies, when you pick up a max ammo, all your weapons get fully reloaded again, which I think is really nice because before it, you had to reload completely and then pick up the max ammo to get the full amount of ammo that you need. Now this was actually taken from World War II Zombies and a lot of people mentioned on Twitter that this was the same in Exo Zombies, but it's not. It's just in World War II Zombies. So it's a really, really nice feature because you don't actually have to reload. It just reloads automatically for you, which is a really, really nice thing. It saves the time if you don't have time to reload and you're shooting at zombies and you pick up a max ammo. So it's definitely really, really useful and it's another great quality of life thing that just helps zombies overall and makes it a little bit more fast paced. Coming in at the number seven spot is going to be the ability to deal more damage for headshots. Now this first appeared in Infinite Warfare Zombies with the perk Dead Eye Dewdrops, which first appeared on Shaolin Shuffle. Now when you ADS, you are able to get an indicator on screen and also a sound that told you while aiming down sights, as long as you stay ADSing, you will deal more damage for headshots. Now Treyarch was actually smart enough to add this into a perk that's in Black Ops 4 Zombies, which is called Deadshot Dealer. Now, what this does is you gain a damage boost when you're on a headshot streak. So you need to get more headshots overall. And once you keep getting headshots, then you'll deal more damage to the head, which is great for taking out the Marauders as well as the Gladiators on 9, I will say. But overall, it's a great, great addition. And it's nice to see it in Black Ops 4. Coming in at the number six spot is going to be the ability to self revive in co op games. Now, if you guys don't really know what self revives are, basically, if you go down, you have the ability to revive yourself. Now, the great thing about this is on nine, you can do the first challenge, literally the first one, whether it's got six equipment kills or 13 knives or anything like that. And then you are able to get a heart, which is actually a self revive. Now, before in World War II Zombies where it was introduced, you could get these by getting consumables which were basically abilities and those stacked. But the only thing about that was you could only use two per game in World War II Zombies so it wasn't overpowered or anything. 
now in black ops 4 zombies currently i believe you can only get it from just doing the first challenge on nine i'm kind of curious to see if there's any more easter eggs that may include that or i could just be missing something but i don't think i am i think i'm up to date with that but it'd be really cool to see in future maps if they do have other ways of getting a self revive because it's really really good if you go down in an easter egg and you still have that and everyone else is down you can still get up again and uh it could save the entire game for you so definitely a really really good addition and it comes in at the number six spot Coming in at the number five spot is the ability to make your gun stronger. Now, a lot of people don't really like this in Black Ops 4 Zombies because everyone loved Double Tap 2.0, and I am one of them. I loved Double Tap. It was a great perk. I always bought it every game I could, unless I was playing on Ascension where you can't actually get it. Now, to be honest with you guys, I don't think it was a good idea to take that out, but at the same time, I do understand what Treyarch was going for. Now, in Exo Zombies, way back in Exo Zombies, you were actually able to upgrade your gun up to Mark 20, and then if you completed the Easter egg, you were able to get it up to Mark 25. So this is a really, really good feature because it made your weapons a lot stronger each time you upgraded it, which is really nice, and you got a full ammo upgrade grade as well and it only cost 2500 points which made it great so it's kind of the same thing because in black ops 4 zombies you can upgrade a pack bunched weapon four more times and each time you upgrade it it's going to be stronger all the way up until you upgrade it four times and then it essentially has double the damage of one pack a punch of your regular weapon so it does end up costing 15,000 points which is kind of a lot in my opinion but it's still really nice because you essentially double the damage of just the packed weapons so that comes in at the number five spot Coming in at the number four spot is going to be a health bar. Now, this is something that is kind of a touchy subject when it comes to Black Ops 4 Zombies because when the game first came out, you were only able to get 150 health and now they were able to up that up until 200, which is really nice because now you get four hits instead of three. Now, this was first introduced in World War II Zombies with the addition of shields and you had 150 health as well as the shield so essentially you were at 300 health the entire time and once you ended up getting 200 damage you would lose your shield and you just kept losing shields after that so it was introduced first in world war ii zombies with the ability to know how much damage you've taken and how much health you have left as well so it's really nice that they added this into just black ops 4 zombies in general but at the same time i kind of liked and enjoyed the classic version that we got in black ops 3 just with more of a red screen indicator later. Coming in at the number three spot is going to be the ability to not lose all your perks when you go down. Now, this was first introduced in Exo Zombies, and if you were revived fast enough, you would actually keep some of your perks. Now, this was also brought back by Sledgehammer Games once again in World War II Zombies, and now it's in Black Ops 4 Zombies. Now, originally in Treyarch, we had Tombstone and Who's Who in Black Ops 2, which were kind of essentially like the exact same thing as it is right now but now that we don't have those they kind of just incorporate it into the game so you don't actually need a perk for it and to be honest tombstone and who's who weren't that great to begin with anyways so it's really nice that Treyarch just included that in the regular version of the game and now you can salvage some of your perks if you end up going down in a co-op match as long as you get revived fast enough Coming in at the number two spot is going to be the ability to have a specialist class when you're playing zombies. Now, this was first introduced in World War II zombies, and originally I loved using camouflage because it protected you from being seen by zombies, which was really, really helpful, but eventually they ended up nerfing it, and if you shot your gun, you would lose it and it would deplete really, really fast. Now, you can still get Uber Ladens in World War II Zombies, which they also incorporated into Black Ops 4. So you can get specialist drops as well as use the specialists in Black. 
black ops 4 zombies overall i think it's just a great thing that it was added in there's definitely some awesome weapons like takiyas katana which is always really fun to use i love using the hammer and the staff to revive your teammates across the map it's just a ton of fun so i'm really happy that treyarch added in specialist weapons and the ability to add that to your class and coming in at the number one spot is the ability to change your starting weapon and what kind of grenades you have and your entire class all together now this first came in world war ii zombies where you could pick a car 98 you could pick a m30 luwaf drilling if you wanted or if you or me you would just pick a 1911 because when you pack a punch it it was just overpowered and you didn't have any splash damage now they brought this back into black ops 4 zombies so now you can pick a mog 12 if you wanted or if you're like me you can use the strife with the stiletto knife which is really nice for getting points up till round five when it's a two hit knife and overall it's just a great addition to the game i love using wraith fires instead of just regular frag grenades originally so it's definitely a really really great thing that they added into black ops 4 zombies and i'm actually really really happy about that all right, guys, so those are going to be the top 10 things that Treyarch added into Black Ops 4 from other Call of Duty zombies that we have seen in the past. Let me know if you guys did enjoy the video by dropping a like, and if I missed anything, let me know down below. I know there's definitely a lot more that I completely disregarded for this video, so if you'd like to see a part two, you can just comment more stuff down below, and I'm sorry if I made any errors in saying which game it was, but I tried to get gameplay from every single game to actually show you guys what I'm talking about so I really hope you guys would take the time one second to just drop a like because it did take me an entire day to record the gameplay for this video so anyways guys thank you so much for watching my name is Greg FPS and I'll see you guys in the next one peace out